I'm a big believer that good organization is more than just a few plastic bins. It needs to balance form and function. All week long, we're going to be sharing our tips for organization. We're going to be having experts join us on the Studio McGee blog talking about their tips for diving into our drawers and into our closets and getting all of those things cleaned out and organized for the new year. I am going to focus on the organization that happens to blend in with the design of your home. So countertops, the design of your kitchen, how we put things away, organize them in your living rooms, hide away those toys, all of that good stuff we'll be sharing with you today, starting with the kitchen. I think there are two types of storage closed for hiding away the stuff that you don't want to see every day and open for displaying things that can be beautiful and useful. So when we have closed storage, that's when I'm hiding away my kids' snacks that don't have the prettiest packaging, things like tea packets and, and candy that I'm trying to hide so I don't remember it's there. Clear containers. That's when we display oatmeal, flour, pasta, things that have a more neutral palette and can be displayed even when they're not in use. Produce is something we like to display. One, because it's beautiful. Two, because you don't want it to perish. And it's nice to have quick access to it in large bowls or wire baskets. One other trick I love to use for design organization in the kitchen is putting a tray by the stove. Then I can corral all of the things that I'm using for everyday cooking. In living rooms, we're all about baskets, boxes, and trays. Baskets everywhere. Baskets next to the sofa for toys or extra blankets. Baskets in built-ins. Baskets under consoles. They go everywhere, guys. They're just the number one tool in a living room. Trays. Love to put them on a coffee table to put our remotes inside, store coasters, a candle, and I love boxes because they add height, which is great, but you can also hide away gaming controllers and just anything else. I like to store playing cards and the little notes that my kids write me. We take all of those items and then apply them to the rest of the home in different ways. So for the entryway, we use baskets for shoes, trays for keys and sunglasses. In the bedroom, we also use trays, but for jewelry, watches, reading glasses, baskets for storing loose closet items like scarves and socks. bathrooms we love to use glass canisters for storing q-tips and cotton balls and makeup brushes these are my tips for making organization beautiful but on the blog we're bringing in the real experts to share all of their tips for you